on one o'clock on another one and a half hour trip to so go to Milk Hill for a bit of soaring. Uh, is it worth it? Oh, can't be bothered. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is it worth spending another hour and a half in the car coming down in the light end of the day? Well, it is when it's like this. That's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Not complaining. So let's get unpacked, get in the air, enjoy the sun. Okay, back out on Milk Hill, and it's glorious, lots of sun out, and lots of pilots. Just going to turn the glider around, have a look, look at that, it's pretty nice, some pretty big clouds around, uh, just keep an eye on this thing here, it's a bit black. Off that glider. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of wash down there. There's a bird.
That's Glynn up there. Oh, okay, so I'm in sync. You get spat out over the back and then nothing. Nada. Glenn resumes his position. You gonna go? Okay. Back at the top again, after a uh, mistake of flying to the horse and it wasn't really working. So, was it worth it? Oh, you bet, every single time. An hour and a half, and you get these views to do what we do. We're in a very privileged position. I mean, look at the sun through there. Yes, it's soaring, but it's just lovely. And you've got lots of people enjoying themselves. Really nice. Just look at that view. Beautiful. Never tire of that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. More sunset flying. Hey. So, re-ask that question. Was it worth coming out from a house one and a half hours to fly on Milk Hill? You bet, it was just nice. Really, really nice. Um, bit of thermaling. But look at the views. Even just the clouds there. It's epic. Lovely. Right, it's pub time. Uh, did I say that? But I'll see you folks again, I'm sure. <laughs> on another great escape and mini adventure um, so I'll see you soon cheers pretending that he's working yeah, pictures of oh, he's in the video yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's up before he even started yeah.